nobody should let uh, hypocrisy keep them from becoming Christians because they see so many hypocrites in the church people think that a lot of Christians most Christians are all Christians are hypocrites well just like once one time somebody said there's always room for one more in the church and uh, because uh, most Christians in this world today were not Christians their whole lives and of course uh, none of God's people are perfect but then again that doesn't give them any excuse to, uh, uh, to be hypocrites or do hypocritical things they're human beings just like everyone else and we all have have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God for if anyone refuses to become a Christian because of uh, uh, hip because of hypocrites and because of hypocrisy uh, well see that's what Satan wants you to do he wants to point these things out about about God's people who are hypocrites he wants you to focus more on that well guess what for any of you who are not Christians out there and you were you were and you're very skeptical about becoming a Christian yourself well get this maybe you can be better than all those hypocrites by becoming a Christian and not not be a hypocrite yourself and uh, see that's what God would want you to do yeah again is Satan is the enemy and, and it's your fleshly spirit that wants wants to keep you bound and, and to focus on the negative things of Christians or if any of you uh, anyone who's not Christian who's viewing this if uh, you're worried that you're gonna become a Christian like I mean a hypocrite like all those other Christians well how about this ask God to help you to not be a Christian and um, you know better then um, you can do better you become a Christian and do better than all those hypocrites but uh, on another aspect about that is to not uh, have a holier than thou mentality. I think, in, I mean, yeah, you, in a way, you can be better than than hypocrites by not sinning on purpose, by not doing hypocritical things. But don't think that you're that you that you'll be any better uh, of a Christian than than all the rest of God's people who've uh, who've been hypocrites. So yeah, don't let don't let hypocrites in the church within the body of Christ don't let hypocrisy keep you from giving your life to Jesus because that's exactly what Satan wants you to do as a means of keeping you out of heaven keeping you out of the kingdom of of God and uh, might I add this as a bonus uh, if anyone thinks like well I think I'll just wait a couple years to become a Christian I'll give my life to Jesus later on in life uh, the Bible says that none of us are promised tomorrow and as far as I know we're not even guaranteed another minute in this life and uh, the, the Bible it says that in the Bible at least it says in the Bible uh, that none of us are that tomorrow is not promised to any of us and it also says why put out the things for tomorrow for today is the day of salvation and for all of you out there who've who've seen who's seen the hypocrisy within God's people well guess what that shouldn't keep you from giving your life to Jesus because perhaps you can do better uh, than all those hypocrites but don't think that you're don't put on a holier than thou self-righteous mentality thinking you're a better person than they are because the Bible also says to think of others better than yourselves just think that that um, even though they're hypocrites I don't have to be a hypocrite so there and it's best to give your in these last days definitely best to give your life to Jesus right now before it's too late as this video has been made it is in the midst of uh, Hurricane Florence in September of 2018 just thought I'd throw that out there uh, the weather's been nice and um, I just want to thank all God's people out there who have been praying for the storm to dissipate one thing we're getting is, is, is cloudy weather with uh, a lot of cool winds and rain. And uh, and if you give your life to Jesus, then you'll be one with God and God will be with you.